animal products take up one circle, plant products take up the other circle. When you're a vegan, you avoid animal products and only consume plant products. And this includes what you wear. Now, if the world was pure, it'd be pretty simple. You would know everything that's an animal product, everything that's a plant product, and you'd avoid the animal products entirely. But the world is not quite that simple. So there are situations where you don't know. Joanne Stepnick says you shouldn't worry about all these ingredients such as monodiglycerides, which can be plants or animal products. And I think that is very wise. One situation that I have come across is when you don't have the labels at all. If somebody gives you some bread, is the bread full of animal products or plant products? Bread is something that can vary. Thus, the Venn diagram, there are things in the middle. In the past, I was so concerned about doing it right. One of my biggest fears in life is hypocrisy. I didn't want to be a hypocrite. Thus, in situations where you don't know what to do, the question is, what do you do? Do you side on the side of being pure or side on the side of being flexible? Like I said, I sided on the side of being pure for so much. Now, the problem is some people like Vegan Outreach says if you make compromises, small ones, you can actually further the cause of veganism because you're sending the message is doable to people. Whereas if you're really rigid, you are sending the message is impossible. Now, even at the most rigid, I believe veganism is something I can do. However, it's something a lot of people won't do at the most rigid, even at the most flexible. Thus, it is wise to know where to draw the line. Now, I don't want to fear people accusing me of being a hypocrite if I'm not being a hypocrite. Imperfection is not hypocrisy. It's about knowing where to draw the line. So I want to balance being polite, being considerate, and also going after the right ideas.